pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 59, Insights. Review of Lessons 41 through 45. My whole life is a process by which the thoughts that are not of God gently get washed away. I have tried to add other thoughts to God's thoughts. They are not true. They are mistaken ideas. These mistaken ideas have created a story of having an individual life where I made decisions on my own. I am learning now that my only true happiness comes as I am willing to let go of deciding on my own. It has not worked and never will work. It's high time to give it up. The peace of God comes into my awareness as I am willing to let go of a bodily identity of an individual identity. The peace of God is the greatest gift I could ever receive. And as I am willing to receive it, I am receiving it for the whole sonship. As every part of the sonship is willing to receive the peace of God, They are also receiving it for me, for we are one. Anyone receiving the peace of God is helping me wake up. I can experience peace as a very strong connection, like a super broadband internet. All I have to do is connect and I receive the peace of God and extend it. And it doesn't cost $20 a month. It's like the whole sonship belongs to one inner net, God's inner net. As a member of God's inner net, all I have to do is connect and I am filled with the peace of God. This presence of peace is always there for me to connect with. I can email anyone mind to mind, and extend the peace of God and recognize the peace of God in them. There is no fear here. It is constant, unwavering. It's consistent. So all I need do is improve my consistency with opening to the peace of God and I will feel it always. As I am willing to receive it, I will naturally extend it. This is the meaning of God goes with me wherever I go. It is only my willingness to experience God's peace that turns the connection on and keeps it on. I am willing to practice this today. Hallucinating is just seeing something that is not there. What is seeing in this way is just an image in the mind of the beholder. I am becoming more and more clear that the entire world I think I see is just image making in my mind. The whole world is one big hallucination. When someone is hallucinating, they believe what they see and it blocks their awareness of anything else. This process was powerfully portrayed in the movie, A Beautiful Mind. Because he believed in what he saw, he could not distinguish between the images that he alone saw from the images that were shared by the world around him. Likewise, when I believe in the images I have made, they are real to me, more real than the reality I share with God. The reality I give these images does not make them real in truth, but does cause me to experience them as real. Just as the character in A Beautiful Mind needed someone outside his thought system who recognized what was going on to help him begin to sort out the real from the unreal, we need help from outside of our thought system. 
by the grace of God, we have this help right within our minds, our inner teacher given us by God. This inner teacher helps us recognize what is not true and what could never be true. It helps us learn not to pay attention to the false images. While we are in this world, the body's eyes will still show us false images. Our inner teacher offers us his vision and our practice is to pay attention to that vision and let that be our guide for interpretation rather than the messages of the body's senses. This is how we free ourselves from the limitations of image making and open ourselves to the light of God. I acknowledge that I am a child of God. I no longer desire to pretend I am orphaned, that I must figure out my life or the life of another. I belong to the family of God and God is my living guardian. Just as a child runs to its parent for comfort, advice, knowledge, and joy, I remain with God, the perfect parent, the one who holds the book of life we so eagerly desire. God goes with me wherever I go. I take responsibility to access that love, to receive it, that I may share it, the ultimate joy. I look forward to waking up more and more each moment. It isn't a chore or a painful journey, except in the ego's eyes. I'm carried in the arms of love, and I choose to demonstrate that I cannot be hurt. No one is guilty until we allow ourselves to access the truth about how deeply loved we really are. We could never know our innocence. We are never alone. Our companion always watches over us and longs to share life with us. I celebrate the opportunity to be guided in love like this in every moment. I am surrounded by the love of God. As I slip into deep meditation, the stillness and peace of love surrounds me. In this gentle place, I understand I am completely loved and I am completely safe. There is nothing to fear ever. This love is of joy and peace and experiencing the extension of love from my father to me and then outward to bless all the sonship in the one mind of Christ. It is a joyful and loving experience for which I am truly grateful. Amen. The Pathways of Light dot org.